My name is Evan Martin. I am a recent transplant to Minneapolis as of about four years ago. I've been a biker pretty much my entire life. I'm from Madison, Wisconsin originally. Um, I started riding a lot more in Minneapolis just because of the great trail system here. The, uh, the culture of cycling here is very strong. Um, there's a lot to do on a bike here, which is great. I'm Anna Schwinn and I am a engineer for Quality Bicycle Products. I design components and frames uh, for several different brands, but primarily All City Cycles. The most exciting thing about the bike community here is that you can actually be involved with the community and not know all of the community because it is so big and no matter who you are you will always find someone that you can fall in with someone who shares your interests and uh, just your general spirit. And my name is David Wilson and I have been living in Minneapolis since 1996. I've been riding a bicycle all the time I've been here uh, to get around and living in different parts of the town. Um, I've never had a license, whether here or in my home state of New Jersey. I've never had a license, period. I have a driver's permit. Good luck if I could really figure out how to drive a car. It's, uh, it's all been about commuting. It's been about riding a bike every day, all the time. Since I've been here in 96, I've watched a lot more time and effort go into biking here. So I've just kind of been already a biker and then getting kind of charged up by the the fact that there was more and more accommodations for bikers here and um, and I think that because I'm out here all year round I that I guess you know I kind of represent that 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 need for commuter biking and the accommodation of commuter bikers well my name is Jessica and I am 30 years old and I work at the U of M and I've lived in Minneapolis for Seven years now. I started riding my bike here just kind of leisurely when I first moved here, but um, I saw a lot more people commuting in the winter, and I started riding my bike like a lot more and you know getting really into it probably about a year after I moved here. I've been to other cities, you know. I've been, of course, New York is a huge bike city too, but um, almost everywhere else I've ever been, I wouldn't feel as comfortable. If I had moved to another city like around this size that wasn't necessarily so bike friendly, I wouldn't have felt comfortable just jumping right into it and like riding downtown to go to work. And um, we have so many things, so many special things, so many trails, so many um, things like the Greenway. So I think it just makes us a really unique place. I'm Brent Fuquay. I'm, uh, um, I'm the co-owner and the ambassador of Chi of Recovery Bike Shop and Recycle. I've been into cycling about six years. Uh, I've been in recovery about five years and um, working on bikes and riding bikes has been uh, a great source of joy for me and it's also been um, a real catalyst in uh, me really finding, finding out who I was in the world and, and what I should be doing. I was an addict to stimulants. I, uh, um, I uh, got really depressed and um, I wasn't a habitual user for a long time, but I got really depressed and um, um, started using stimulants and um, basically got to the point where I needed to ask for help. Well, there's just so many people and so many bikes doing it. You know, you can really, you can really feel a sense of community, uh, you know, from the Greenway all the way around the lakes, you know, on any given nice day you can just literally run into hundreds of your friends when you're out on a ride on the trails you know I'm really into keeping people on the road I actually enjoy I take tools with me everywhere I go and if I see somebody that's broken down I like to stop and and uh, help them get their bike fixed because that's how I started was just helping my friends fix their bikes so uh, that's also a great joy of mine um, my name's Kat McCarthy. Uh, I work at Calhoun Cycle in uh, Uptown on Hennepin and 34th. Uh, I think, uh, especially in the Uptown area where there are a lot of businesses, I think that biking uh, kind of gives you easier access to businesses. Um, you know, you can ride by them slowly and kind of see their window displays. Um, and, you know, if I want to stop into a store real quick, I don't have to find parking, I can just roll up on the sidewalk um, and, and check it out. Um, so I think 
I think especially for Uptown, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I also like that all of the trails in the area, um, you know, connect us to different parts of the city, um, but the bike trails also connect us to nature. You can go around the lake and kind of experience you know that small ecosystem or if you're out on the Kenilworth Trail and you know there's trees all around I think it's just a nice little segue to a quieter part of the city um, and then you know just half a mile away you're in uptown and in this bustling business district so uh, I think we're pretty lucky to have that network. When I moved here my, my we were moving the U-Haul truck to our, our friend's house to sort of camp for a couple weeks um, it was the biggest blizzards in, what, 15, 20 years. And even driving through the streets through this blizzard, there were bikes everywhere. There were more bikes on the street in the blizzard than I had seen, you know, anywhere else I'd live on a regular day, on a sunny day. Uh, and that was exciting because you can't, you can't get bikers down here. Bikers bike all year round. And... You know, they're hardcore about it and they love it and, you know, they do whatever they have to do. You know, they, they adopt the right equipment, they adopt the right attitude um, to do it all year round. And I love that. I think what's so special about the Uptown area is that um, there are some streets like Bryant, for example, that have um, dedicated bike share lane. It's like a, it, and it's really, you know, people are just used to seeing cyclists in Uptown all the time. I mean, I can look out the window right now and probably see one within 10 seconds. So that's great. And um, there are a lot of pedestrians too, so it's a lot more of a walking, biking friendly area. Um, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of biking around like the lakes around here, just because I feel kind of in the way a little bit. And like, I, a lot of people are kind of just taking their leisurely time around the lakes and that's what they're for. So they're not my favorite place to ride, but once in a while, I'll go on a nice little little lap around the lake while I'm on a, a longer ride or something. The first time I was ever on a bike in Minneapolis, I was when I first was looking for an apartment here uh, when I was transitioning, moving from New York, and um, rented a bike from 101 downtown and rode to St. Paul, which is where the pl it was the place I was staying with some like friends of friends and. Um, and then I also rode down Park to, uh, or, yeah, Portland, I think. I rode south on Portland to get to a friend's house um, on, like, 46 or something. And I just remember thinking how huge the bike lane was or how I was surprised that on a three-lane road they had a bike lane, which has now turned into a two-lane car road with a whole lane for bikes. I mean, that's the dedication that Minneapolis has for cyclists is they'll, they'll, they don't, they gave an entire lane on a fairly busy street to a bike path, which is great. It reduces this. And they also coincidentally tried to reduce the speed of those roads. So, uh, it's just, a, it's part of this transition, I think, away from fossil fuel driven vehicles. Um, but the Greenway was a real surprise. It was a pleasant surprise. And uh, I think I got lost a couple times because the numeric streets always kind of get me, even though it's a fairly straightforward, kind of stupid, simple idea. The, the avenue versus streets never fail to confuse me. <laughs> Little did I know when I started riding a bike, it was because I kept getting pulled over in my van and it was getting expensive to drive and I didn't have a job and I saw everybody around Uptown riding bikes and I thought, well, hey, that's a pretty good idea. So I started riding before I went into recovery. After I went into recovery, I came to find out that exercising was a really great way to release serotonin into your brain and calm you down and relax you and there's a lot of stress and anxiety with you know, trying to pick your life back up after it's been ruined. Um, and so riding my bike uh, around the lakes was uh, really the therapy that I needed to just calm down and sort things out and be able to get my life back on track.
the whole park system here in the town uh, is 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 a real uh, testament to uh, to uh, uh, urban planning. You know, I mean, and uh, the the integration of 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 nature to where people are living and and being is uh, is 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 something that uh, to be appreciated. I mean, I've been in other cities like Atlanta. You know, Atlanta. Atlanta, if, if Atlanta people knew what kind of park system we had here and what kind of access we had to things like lakes, because the lakes are like a, like a rallying point, you know, it makes it easy for us to like, well, of course you're not going to, you're going to have uh, parks built around your lakes. And it just, I mean, it naturally happened that way here. But um, when, uh, when you have uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the people's uh, uh, willingness to, uh, to, to, to be there, to be in these public spaces and use them that way and, and to have the natural world there so close by is just, it's remarkable, it's wonderful.